What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey, and today, we are going to go on a hair journey. Yes, I'm partnering with Trey Lux to give you the tea on their Soothe and Restore collection. Specifically, the Soothe and Restore Aloe Vera Curl Primer. Now, y'all know I don't do nothing regular, and so y'all are gonna see me pre-poo, wash my hair, do a twist out, do a wash and go, refresh, all those things, and then at the end, I'll tell you which method is my favorite and if this new product is worth your coin. Speaking of coins, you can use my code curls of a CPA 15 to save 15% off all year round at discovertraylux.com. I'm gonna put the links to all the products in the description box and also pin it as a first comment so that you have easy access. And of course, special shout out to Trey Lux for sponsoring this video and just for giving me creative license, letting me be myself. We love to see it. And without <laughs> further ado, let's get it. Into it. So I'm starting off with three and a half week old hair. My hair is dirty. It needs some serious TLC. It's literally been 24 days since I washed my hair last. And the saddest part of all of this is if you keep watching, you'll see that this bad behavior will be repeated. <laughs> <laughs> to cleanse my hair and scalp, I shampooed twice with the clarifying shampoo. And then I went in with the Trey Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. Y'all, this shampoo is one of my favorite moisturizing shampoos. It lathers nicely, it has nice slip. And when you rinse, your hair feels so silky and hydrated. I love this shampoo. And then to deep condition my hair, I used the Trey Lux Ultra Moisturizing Deep Conditioner, which is one of the new additions to the Soothe and Restore collection. Y'all, this deep conditioner is super crazy creamy and thick, just like I like it. And when you work that thing in, it just feels like it's hugging your strands. And as you can see, it's weighing my hair down very nicely and my curls just look so good. We've come a long way since the beginning of this wash day. <laughs> and at this point, you could rinse the deep conditioner out, but y'all, the goodness is taking up a couple notches just from you putting on a plastic cap and sitting on your couch and watching TV. You don't even have to add heat. Like you can just use your body heat and it'll work its magic. Now, remember me talking about me going on the couch with my deep conditioner. Well, my intention was to go there for 45 minutes. However, I got super <laughs> distracted and here I am an hour and 45 minutes later, but y'all. <laughs> my hair feels amazing. It feels like butter. Like every time I use this mask and I let it sit, I just, I'm always impressed. Always, always. Ooh. And look, my hair has just absorbed the mask like wow and after thoroughly rinsing this is what my hair is looking like and i am so happy because my hair still feels really soft it leaves like a little bit behind the shine is a one my hair just feels really good it takes a little while to rinse so make sure that you like separate your hair to make sure that you're getting all of the mask out but baby feels really really good and i didn't use any heat i actually just used my body heat it did that. And now that my hair has been cleansed and conditioned, I'm going in with that new, new, the new Trey Lux Aloe Vera Curl Primer, which is the newest addition to the Soothe and Restore collection. And guys, as soon as you put this product in your hand, you will feel how slippery it is. And then when you put it in your hair, <laughs> it feels so good. Good. I like to apply it all over and then I go section by section just to make sure that my hair is nicely coated with it. This is a curl primer and so I want this to touch every curl. And then I thoroughly detangle using my hands, then I use my brush, I do the section by section and I apply more product or water as needed. And I've used this product a couple times before and there are some things that have just stood out to me that I love about this product. One, it lives up to its claim. They made it to help smooth, detangle, hide hydrate, soften, define, and refresh your hair. And I've experienced all of those things. It's also the ingredients for me. <laughs> the first five ingredients after water are aloe vera leaf juice, glycerin, hydrogenated castor oil, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And another thing that I love about this product, which if you're not new here, you already know, is that it's a multi-use product. It can be used as a pre-poo detangler, a curl refresher, and a pre-style curl primer that you can either 
either rinse out or keep in and I've chosen to keep it in. And do y'all see my curls? Like the curls are curling. Even though I am like thoroughly detangling my hair, you can still see that the curls are popping, that my hair is really nice and clumped. And y'all know I love it when my curls do this before I do a twist out because that means that that separation game is gonna be on point. And after sectioning my hair, applying the product all over and detangling, I wanna give the product a little chance to absorb into my hair. I'm just gonna put on a couple plastic caps as I take a shower, get ready. And then when I come back, we will style. And after about 20 minutes, I am back. And it seems like my hair has absorbed the product completely. But as I like smooth my hair and rake my fingers through, it's like it's reactivating the product and it's emulsifying without me having to add any more product or any water. Next, I'm adding my styler, which is the Trade Lux Curl Defining Mousse. And I apply about three to four pumps to the entire section. And when the mousse mixes with the primer, it just feels so good. <laughs> and I just work the mousse in until each strand, including my roots, feels coated, smooth, and laid. And then I twist and twist and twist. And this mousse is also part of Trey Lux's Smooth and Restore collection. And the entire collection is pretty clean. It has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone, no phthalates, no artificial colors, and they're all 100% vegan, 100% gluten-free, 100% cruelty-free, and the fragrances they do use are 100% natural. Now, I won't be going into too much detail about the mousse since I have a dedicated video for it already, but this is actually my first time using it for a twist out, so I'm super excited to see how it's gonna turn out. And as I twist, I'm continuing to finger detangle, smooth my hair, and when I get to my ends, of course, you know I'm gonna twirl them. And now that I'm done twisting, I am very happy with how these twists are looking. And because the products that I use are lightweight, my hair is also drying very quickly, which is a plus because you already know it's late. <laughs> to expedite the drying, I just sat under my hooded dryer. I wanted to make sure that I didn't go to bed with wet roots. And it took about 15, 20 minutes for my entire head and my roots to be completely dry. And I must say that I am completely in love with these twists. But don't be surprised if I keep these twists in because they are so cute. <laughs> but I'll see you guys soon. And here I am three days later, I'm actually traveling right now and it's really hot. So I have this fan blasting on me as I take my twist down, trying not to sweat profusely. But guys, look at my twist. My twist still felt really good. And so I didn't feel the need to add oil to my hands to take them down. But also if I'm using a product combination for the first time, I like to be able to feel how my hair feels without the coating of oil, just to make sure that my hair still feels like moisturized. And the twist out is definitely giving. I have volume. I have definition. The hold I'm a little worried about because my hair looks and feels really soft, but I'm hopeful because the definition is on point. I am being summoned, so I'm gonna get up out of here and I'll come back in a few days to show how my hair looks, how it feels, and share my final thoughts. And I am back. It's been six days since I took my twist down and nine days since wash day. And guys, in the past week, my hair has been through it. When I tell you, this summer heat has just, the bullets I've been sweating, okay? Like the first day, my twist out was so cute, but but I sweated so much that my roots were gone. Day two, I wore my hair down, it was still cute. By day three, my roots were like done. And so I was wearing it in a puff. The puff was really cute and defined. And then my hair got like a little like misty. I took a shower without putting on anything on my hair. And then that's when the curls started to decline. But I think this twist out held on really well. Now in terms of how my hair feels, my hair feels normal. Like it doesn't feel super moisturized or anything like that it doesn't feel super dry it just feels like I washed my hair eight days ago and it's time to wash it again I'm not sure if I'm gonna wash my hair restyle it or just come back later with my hair in a puff and give you my final thoughts whatever I decide I will be back and I decided to be a responsible adult and wash my hair starting with a nice pre poo detangling session and as I saturated my hair with water and worked the water in my hair instantly started foaming back up and the curls the curls started <laughs> poking through and in my sleepiness I made an executive decision to abort the pre poo mission and refresh my hair into a wash and go instead. Now it's still <laughs> technically gonna be a detangling session but instead of it ending with me washing my hair it will end with me sitting under my hooded dryer and giving y'all my final thoughts. And I'm just wetting each section thoroughly working the water in while finger detangling and then I add some more of the primer and then detangle with my brush Then I add a little more of the primer if I need it and then I add one or two pumps of the mousse and that's 
that's it. Now I usually don't use this type of brush to detangle my hair, but it was still getting the job done. The primer gave me a good amount of slip to detangle and my hair felt amazing. Now how it looked was another story. <laughs> the front was definitely giving, but the back, I'm so embarrassed to turn around. Y'all, the back already started to dry and I don't like how it looks. It looks crazy. So I'm definitely very nervous about how this wash and go is gonna turn out. But after 20 minutes under my hooded dryer, my faith was thankfully restored. My hair definitely turned out better than I thought it would. And I was able to successfully postpone wash day without putting my hair in a bun. <laughs> okay, so let's get into these final thoughts so I can get up out this hot bathroom. <laughs> first things first, I love absolutely adore the smell of this product. It smells so delightful. Like it's giving me spa. It's still lightweight. It's like sweet, crisp, and it just smells like a tall glass of water. Not water, but it's refreshing like that, you know? So one, the smell gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Also, it's like super slippery and it just like takes over the strand. I don't even know how to describe it. Like I, I'm gonna show what I mean, but like it just makes my curls look so juicy it's like how how your hair looks when you add in like a pre-poo but except you can keep the product in you know like it's just so it just feels so yummy in the hair and then I love how the product clumps my curls <laughs> now one thing I will say is I've used it like I said in multiple ways and when I tried it on dry hair I didn't like it I found that it was sticky and so I would say if you're gonna use this you can try it on dry hair. You could try and whatever. But I honestly, I suggest just adding water, even if it's just a little bit of water. Voiceovers able here to clarify. I'm not just talking about like, if you want to like refresh a curl or two that are frizzy. Like I think using a little bit of product and like refreshing your, you know, individual curls, I think that's fine. But if you're trying to detangle or you're trying to like manipulate your hair and you're using a lot of product, I think just a little spritz of water will go a long way. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Add water. It needs water so that it can emulsify because you honestly don't need a lot of it. Like a little bit goes a long way. Like I asked them to send me another one because I thought I was going to be done with this. And I've used it about like four times. It might have been five times, even though I felt like I used a lot. Like there were many times where I felt like I was super heavy handed. I still have a good bit of product in here, maybe like half. And so you don't need a lot of this. Now, what I will say is glycerin is the third ingredient. And when I look back on the times where I used glycerin heavy products, especially like for a wash and go, my hair did not like it. And so what I did, because I know how my hair reacts, glycerin and a bunch of moisture is, it's just not a good combination for me. One, my hair doesn't dry properly. Two, my hair is just gets really frizzy and it doesn't last. Like it'd be cute on day one and then day two is just like, oh girl, okay. And so I made the executive decision when I did my twist out to not use a leave-in conditioner because I was like, I need my hair to last at least two days because I got this family event and since the air is not dry, I'm okay with not packing in the moisture. Because this product, it's really hydrating. Your hair will feel nice and supple and it'll, you know, it'll feel good. But this is not a leave-in conditioner. It's just like a curl plumber, a curl activator, detangler, you know what I'm saying? So my hair was able to retain enough moisture where I didn't feel like my hair was gonna break off for a week. And that was good enough for me, okay? And I'm back. I wanted to clarify again. I'm not saying to avoid moisturizing products or products that have glycerin in them when styling styling in the humidity. No, what I'm saying is if you use the products and you see that it's not working for you, then you can adjust your moisture levels and you can figure it out. You can put maybe a hard holding gel on top just to make sure that your hair is protected from the humidity. But another tip is do not air dry. Don't air dry. When you air dry, you increase the chances of your hair getting frizzy and you also increase the chances of your hair like swelling, right? And that's what I did with my first wash and go that lasted me about three days. I think it would have lasted me a little bit longer if I use less leave-in conditioner because I was pretty heavy handed, but sitting under the dryer helped to kind of just lock them curls in place and I was good. And so if you want your curls to set, if your hair is frizz prone, air drying is probably not the best. And also if you have a lower porosity, your hair is gonna take longer to dry, which also gives your hair more opportunity to get frizzy and to get messed up. So if you feel like I'm speaking your language, hear what I say, okay? Sit under a hooded dryer, use a diffuser, a blow dryer, whatever you need to do. 
don't do not air dry and that's my tip for a wash and go if you're doing like a braid out or if you're doing a twist out using this combination i think your hair will dry fast enough that you don't need to sit under the dryer for your curls to set i think it's worth experimenting with but i don't think it's as necessary with when you're doing a wash and go wash and go do not air dry twist out braid out or you know some other style then i think you have a little bit more flexibility in your drying methods that's it now in the winter when i use this i would use the leave-in for sure the air will be drier and i need that moisture and i'm not going to be as afraid because there's not going to be humidity in the air and so that just kind of shows you that you can tailor the moisture to meet your styling needs right because i'm like i need my style to last and so i'm gonna just put the leave-in away for now another thing i wanted to talk about was the volume that i got i got volume with my wash and goes and my twist out and when i think about it i feel like most times when i do my hair with trey looks products i have no issue with volume i always have volume i always have definition like it's always giving body adi adi you know what i'm saying so now the question is what is my favorite way to use this product and i don't i don't, I don't know <laughs> This was actually really hard to choose because I actually enjoy the process of using it in all the ways. I think that my favorite result though was the twists. Them twists looked so good. They looked so good. I did not expect my twists to just be so, mm -hmm. like I can't say the word juicy again cause I, I done said it too many times, but loved how my twists looked. Like man, if I was planning to do some mini twists, I'd probably use this combo because it just like made my twist look like a rope twist. This is giving back to school protective style combo, okay? Like you could even slap the leave-in, you know, on in here because especially if you're gonna keep that, you know, the twist or the braid in, it just was so neat. The twists were fire and they stayed cute for like three days and I was sweating bullets, okay? We were traveling, I was in the car, just, it was a lot. And my twist held up really well. They didn't get frizzy. My twists typically do get frizzy after keeping them in for two days, um, but I didn't get that. I'm sure that's a combination of using mousse as well. But these two together, baby, yummy. And my twist felt good. Like, it's not like the, the moisture evaporated after three days. Like my hair felt good. When I took the twist down, my hair still felt good. The shine, the shine was excellente, okay? And so if you're looking for something super clean and you wanna use um, for your, like, your protective styles that you're keeping in, this, that was my favorite way of using it. My second favorite way was this refresh, right? I have a whole wash and go. I'm, who refreshes a twist out and does a wash and go? Tell me. Like that was a close number two. This is something I know that is not going to last. I'm not expecting this to be like a two, three day thing. This is like, oh, I need to wash my hair today, but I need to go somewhere and I'll probably wash it tomorrow. Or, you know, like this, the, the, I, this is like what this is this was good this was good to me i didn't expect it to look good while my hair was drying i was getting really nervous but the results are all right okay mm. and the drying time like i could do my hair and like i could wake up and do my hair in the morning sit under the dryer hit it with the blow dryer a little bit on the roof and be out the door in like an hour like what okay maybe not an hour because i'm not that fast <laughs> but you you could make it <laughs> Now with me restyling, I do feel like a little bit of not not come not not all the way tackiness, but my hair doesn't feel as like lightweight as it did when I did a wash and go on freshly washed hair. This product works best on freshly washed hair, but as I was detangling to wash my hair, it was just looking too good. And so I say, you know what? I'm just gonna do this little wash and go to get my final thoughts. And then we just keep it pushing, right? And so now my hair is detangled. It's a look and then I can wash my hair tomorrow and I'm set. <laughs> I'm gonna come back tomorrow to show you what it looks like after sleeping on it and you can be the judge. Voice over Sable here with an update. <laughs> Today I had to go to church and so I put it up in a bun. Really cute, like I didn't use any product. I maybe like sprayed a little bit of water on my perimeter just so that it was easy to put up. My hair has a lot of volume and so I was able to get a really nice big bun. I have like a small donut in here but the donut takes up like this much space and then the rest is like my hair around it and so the volume 
volume is voluming and the bun is bunning. And I did see like a little bit of white stuff as I was doing my bun, but it wasn't anything to be like embarrassed about. Like I didn't feel like it was gonna get on my clothes or anything like that. It's like really, really tiny flakes and it's more like build up flakes, not necessarily flakes from the combination. Meanwhile, let's ignore the fact that I ended up wearing my hair in that very bun for the next 15 days while roaming the streets of Jamaica with my family. <laughs> the good thing was that the slip would reactivate every time I added a little water to my hair, which made it easier to get my hair up into a nice, smooth, high ponytail. And then I would just use my brush and edge control to get my hair to lay down. And then the volume was still giving, so I was able to get a nice big bun without having to use my donut all the time. But y'all, <laughs> I definitely had to re-detangle my hair all over again when I finally got a chance to wash it. And by that time, which was about 25 days since my initial wash day, my hair was dry, dry. Okay. Dry, dry, dry. Rightfully so. Don't be like me, y'all. Do better. And so yeah, I just wanted to come and give you guys an update, but let's get back to the video. So that is it for this video, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Like I thoroughly enjoyed experimenting with this product. And what I will say is when you get it, don't be afraid to experiment. Try it a couple different ways. You might like it just as a pre-poo. You might like it just to refresh. You might like it just for wash and go. You might like to put it in your hair, let that curl set and rinse it out and then style your hair. The world is your oyster. Overall, I highly suggest that you get your hands on this. Is it something that I was looking for? Kind of, like I didn't know that I needed a curl primer, but every time that I pre-poo my hair, I've always say, man, I wish I could get a product like this to slay my wash and go. And this is that, right? It's giving me pre-poo curls vibes, but I can leave it in. We love to see it. I know someone suggested that I do kind of like a battle of a combos. And so thinking of doing that and using this with all of the Trey Lux styling products, let me know in the comments if that is something that would interest you guys and I'll do it because I am actually very curious to see how this will work with the cream, which is my favorite styler from Trey Lux, okay? But that's it for real. I've done enough talking, so I'm just gonna scoot over and I'm gonna put my Trey Lux playlist on the screen. And I'm also gonna put my first impressions of the mousse on the screen as well. So you can see that wash and go combo. And until next time guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you peach, love, and good hair day vibes. Bye guys, let's see you in the next one. <laughs>